Hello all, welcome back to Career with Vasant YouTube channel. My name is Vasant. I hope you all doing well. So this is a video where I'm going to discuss like how do you prepare for a serious product come dev product based company DSA round. Okay. So without wasting further time, let me start by sharing my screen. Um, if you like, in I I have made already I made a video like whom should be actually whom who should actually look out for like all these topics or who should actually prepare for the serious DSA and who should not. If you're not watching that video, I'm going to put the link somewhere here also in the description section. Please go and check that video because preparing the intensive DSA is not a cup of tea for all. So if you're really targeting some companies like Google, Netflix, Facebook, some degree Microsoft and few premium product based premium startup which are into product based development, only then you need to uh, be opt for like serious DSA preparation. Otherwise, what you need to do, I've already explained in my last video. This video is for those uh, Vasanth, we have decided we have to attempt for like Google, Facebook and the premium companies and we are a front-end developer. We need a step-by-step -step guide on preparation. This is video is for them. So I'm going to explain step-by-step -step if you're a front-end developer and never done a serious DS in the past. How should be your preparation strategy in cracking these premium companies? Okay. Now, uh, like I already told, my name is Vasanth. If you're not already subscribed to my channel, please subscribe. I'm going to bring content about front-end and interview preparation. Like the video. Uh, if you're liking it and you can add a comment, whatever you felt so far. Now, without wasting further time, can let's look at like list of 20 topics. So this 20 topics has been picked up by my experience and some research all online. So this is like the bare minimum if you, you things that you need to prepare. Some people say like it includes everything in DSA. It's not actually everything. There are so many other topics as well. But to some large degree, I can tell it contains most parts of the DSA where every topic and some most common techniques are also part of this list. So you have to master at least these 20 topics to in depth. Like you should be able to solve medium and hard difficulty problems on each of this topic. Only then is when you'll be able to attempt the serious uh, product based companies. Some are, some here are like I told are actual data structure. Some here are actually techniques. Okay. Like for example, greedy is a technique. DFS is a technique. How do you traverse the tree, etc. Okay. So now if you have to learn these 20 techniques, what should be a strategy step by step goal? Okay. See, primarily there are two ways to learn this. So one particular technique that some people follow is where they start learning based on the, uh, some, uh, like they don't learn the data structures. They learn by learning some learnings and methodologies. For example, there's a technical like two pointer approach and there's a technical like sliding window as mentioned here. So they pick up this technique, like two pointer, two pointer approach can be used in multiple different data structures. Correct. So what they do is like use the technique to solve in multiple different data structure and multiple different data structure problems. Same goes for the sliding window also like same goes for a lot of other techniques. But if you're somebody who's preparing DSA for the first time, this approach will not work for you. Watch technique the tech, the, the, the strategies or the approach driven solving problem will not work for you. Like you cannot pick like two pointer and start solving problems in them because you will not know how to traverse a tree or you will not know like how to traverse a graph. So, or you may not know actually how to create a tree or a graph in the first place. So these techniques will not work for you. Like this way you cannot learn. So if you're someone who is learning for the first time, let's go to our roadmap. Okay. So. Let's step by step. Let's look at this roadmap for this stuff. There are eight steps for someone to master the DSA from the scratch. So I'm going to explain step by step. So uh, learn them very carefully. The first thing is no data structure. First thing is learn set and map concepts very well in JavaScript. Wasn't this is not even related to data structure. Why you are asking us to learn this? The reason is very simple. Like a lot of problems are solved using hash map or set. And most of us do not use this on a day to day basis. So first learn how to insert a value into how to create a set, how to create a map, how to insert a value into set or map, how to delete a value from them, correct? How to iterate a set, how to iterate a map, how to generate a, uh, how to generate a set and a map out of an array. So they're very basic things. Learn them. The, you don't have to solve the basic problem search, but first learn them. Next is like learn basic array and string methods like slice, pi, substring, etc. So this is not a mandatory step, but what would happen is like a lot of problems, these intricate functions will be like part of them. Like how do you find a substring? They'll be like part of a bigger problem, not like finding a substring is an easy problem, but uh, there is some for, for a medium or a hard difficulty problem, finding a substring will be a, a, a intricate or a small part of it. Such scenarios, you cannot keep going back to MDN and looking for the syntax. So I suggest like few very common methods like splice, slice, substring, index, includes, like these very common methods you learn and then you start, uh, before you start DSA, you learn these methods. 
third thing is like start solving easy problems of array and string this is the third thing that you need to do okay do not worry which problems you pick or which technique you pick just pick go to lead code i've shown in my last video also or you can i can quickly show you basically how do you uh, do it you can go to lead code come here click on tags and click array and then click uh, difficulty make it like easy you get some easy problems here as you can see many easy problems which i have also solved pick any problem and like start solving them okay and don't you need not to worry like which technique to follow or um, uh, like uh, am i using two pointer approach am i using sliding window do not worry just solve the problem that is very very important now just before i go to the next technique i'll tell you how to solve the problem because if you're somebody who's solving the problem the first time even the easy problems will be hard for you you'll not be able to solve them very easily okay it will gonna take time for you for example there is a very common problem called like find the prefix of us uh, find the common prefix for example if i have a word start and stop st is a common prefix in both the words correct you'll not be able to solve this problem for the first time so my suggestion is even if it is a worst case time complexity try to solve the problem on your own like let's say half an hour for an easy problem you're taking half an hour do not worry because we are you're doing this for the first time and it's going to take some time for you so don't worry but if you start looking at a solution at the very early stage then you will not build that analytical nature of like thinking of different solutions okay so my suggestion is like start solving easy problems both strings and arrays do not worry how much time you are taking try to come up with a solution after spending like half an hour 45 minutes still you are not able to come up with any approach only then go and look for the solutions like first few problems definitely you have to look for a solution but eventually you should come out of it okay so but how many problems to array and string to solve my recommendation is 20 each 20 easy problems on array and 20 easy problems on string by solve by the time you solve 40 problems you get a great hold of basics of data structure of great basics of dsa and you will be very very confident okay and after solving array and string then you go to the solve binary tree and binary search tree easy and medium difficulty problem wasn't why you are not asking us to solve like medium difficulty problems of array and string instead why you are asking us to go to the binary trees so a lot of people ask might ask this question but the answer is very simple why you have to solve binary search and binary problems is a lot of travels or techniques are involved here like uh, dfs bfs level order in order pre-order post-order lot of these techniques of traversing a tree will be used in graphs will be used in both array and string problems whenever like slightly complicated problems come for example there's a very popular problem on lead code where you have to solve a pro where like a number pad is given one two three four five six seven eight nine where each number represent characters like one represents abc two represent df like our age old phone so in that well let's say the user presses one and two you have to give all the combination of character that can be formed so without knowing the basics of DFS or the traversal techniques, you'll not be able to solve the problem or backtracking, sometimes even the dynamic programming. So what would happen is if you go to the array and string medium difficulty problems without knowing a tree, you'll not be able to solve the, all the problems. So my suggestion is learn array and string, solve easy problems to gain a confidence, then come to the binary trees and binary search trees and solve both easy and medium difficulty problems here, which will give you immense confidence about the traversal. And you'll also learn backtracking recursion whenever you're learning, doing this. And then the fifth fifth thing is like once after you do this, then go back to RS and strings and solve a medium difficulty problem. See, none of these techniques, whatever I'm saying, you is not taken some from somewhere else. Whatever has worked for me and whatever has worked for my lot of my followers and my mentees, that only I'm sitting here. Then go back to array and strings, medium difficulty problem. Okay. So now by now we have finished actually array and string easy problems, binary search T or BST, uh, um, easy and medium problems, and array and string. Uh, easy problems and medium medium problems after this i suggest you like you start going to the advanced techniques solve easy and medium problems of um, dss like graphs and dynamic programming okay so by this time you know the traversing traversal techniques by this time you will be able to you will definitely have a, some sense of analytical thinking given a problem if not the best solution you'll be able to come with some solution that is the time i recommend everyone to go to techniques like uh, graphs and uh, dynamic programming because they take some time and it is good to do the, after doing all of these techniques. Okay. And now is the time where you have to start solving hard problems of all these categories like array, string, stack, queue, linked list, and uh, even the trees and graphs. Every, any data structure that you take, you should start solving the hard difficulty problem. How you are going to pick the order? If you ask me, there should not be no order. The reason being you already solved a plenty of easy, medium problems of all these categories. Now you should be in a state of unpredictability.
like you should not look out for a predictable pattern any any problem comes which is a hard difficulty you should be able to solve and most of the time these hard difficulty problems do not be sometimes they fall under multiple categories like they'll be part of partially some tree concepts are required and some graph concept also required or some array problem solved using the dynamic programming or a tree problem solved using dynamic programming so where multiple techniques are involved in hard difficulty problems so do not care which order you are going to solve but you should be able to solve more and more hard difficulty problems after this then i recommend you to solve some algorithm specific problems like greedy techniques uh, dijkstra's algorithm and the multiple different algorithms which you can solve particularly those algorithm specific medium and hard difficulty problems after you cross the sixth level i would highly recommend you like you stop solving easy problems you should only focus on medium and hard difficulty problems person if you do this is it sufficient for us to clear google see there is no right answer to that because we never know what question can be asked in the interview but even after doing all of this you will not be able to clear any interview if you are not doing the very important aspect that is the revision see we are a human will forget everything that's the nature if if it is we are not revised we are going to forget everything that happens correct so you have to constantly revise whatever the concept that you have learned if you are not revising definitely you are going to not are going to remember and most likely you will not be able to clear the interview point number 1 point number 2 by the time you are reaching the sixth step start time bounding your solutions like medium problem should be solved if you most of you know google gives 45 minutes takes 45 minutes interview where if it it could be like one hard problem or two medium problems you have to solve so you have only 20 minutes to solve a medium difficulty problem hard problem means it's, it's around like 30 to 35 minutes last 5 minutes can be used for the discussion so you should you should time bound your solution to 20 to 25 minutes for a medium difficulty problem hard difficulty problem like 30 to 35 minutes okay this is how you should start time bounding your solution time bounding your solution also making sure you are revising the concepts always like you should like every there are multiple techniques i am not going to talk about that but any whatever the revision techniques works for you follow that revision technique and revise so this is a eight step strategy to master this 20 topics and if you really learn them very well there's a high chance you are going to clear the premium company interviews like google microsoft meta and netflix but it requires you to solve i don't know if you are somebody from the first time doing this with my personal experience a minimum of 400 problems you need to solve why i'm saying like 400 problems 20 different techniques whatever i was listing even if you solve like to 20 problems each it's going to become 400 if you are somebody who has already learned this and if you are learning for second or third time why one 150 problems is fine which a lot of people say but if you are doing so the first time with even my personal experience i highly recommend you solve at least 400 problems which will take easily up to 3 3 months if you are spending 3 to 4 hours a day it will take up to 3 months but it is worth because once you transition to those companies your life will change so stay focused and spend a lot of time on dsa and try to solve them every time whenever you are free keep spending a lot of time on that that's all for the this video if you like the video please like the video comment whatever you felt honestly share the video with your friends thank you so much for watching catch you in the next video